Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your singles reading. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Whatever doesn't resonate or doesn't fit for you, please just leave it out. It just means it's a message for someone else. Thank you for being here, you guys. Please like, subscribe. I'm going to take a look at the energy around you and then get more into the person coming towards you. I will pull some oracle cards. So we'll get more information and more about this person, okay? So Scorpio, let's get started. Let's see. Knight of Wands. A lot of passion right now. Someone is really interested in you. Really wants to take you out. Uh, this person is very determined. This person is also very focused. Uh, when they get that green light here, Scorpio, this person is going to be uh, in it to win it with you. This person also wants commitment. A lot of work. Look at that. Knight of Cups. Uh, a lot of love. A lot of work here. Someone wanting to offer you something stable. Something secure. Someone may be trying to show you how serious they are about being with you. Yeah, this person really loves talking to you. This person feels like they're falling in love with you. This person is also an adventurer, an explorer. They like to do things, discover things, new things. You may be, may be discovering new things here. Diving into the unknown, doing different things, Scorpio. Things that are exciting you. There's a lot of excitement here. And a lot of passion here, being committed. Let's see. King of Cups. Yeah, there's someone who is really into you. There's a lot of love flowing here right now. A lot of interest. get more here the full what you can expect here is a beautiful new beginning and there is going to be a lot of adventure a lot of excitement but also romance passion being committed taking control emperor energy here Could be in the, you could be dealing with an Aquarius and Aries here. Yeah, this person is very, very determined here. It's like when they meet you, if you haven't met this person already, Scorpio, uh, this person is really going to take charge here. Lovers, beautiful. It's going to be an instant attraction between you two. Uh, the chemistry is going to be fire off the charts here. Ten of Wands. A lot going on. You may feel like there's so much going on when you meet this person. But I feel like this person is coming in like a hero. And they're like, look, what do you have going on? Like, you know, it's like they're going to help relieve you in ways. Beautiful attention. Beautiful love. Beautiful chemistry. We have the star here. Very positive energy. So you can expect a nice positive change here moving forward. Uh, releasing the burdens, weight, feeling more free, feeling more excitement, having more adventure. Okay. Oh, let's see. Two of Cups. Yeah, you two are going to really fall hard here for each other. Queen of Coins. Okay. Let's see what else. Page of Coins. My goodness. This looks really good, Scorpio. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Okay. So. This person coming towards you is very stable. Okay. This isn't a shaky person. This isn't an inconsistent person. This isn't someone who's playing games here. This is someone who is ready to show you love. 
This is someone who's ready to be there for you when you need help. If you have a lot that you're carrying, they're going to pick up the slack. They are going to be there. You're not going to feel like this is a one-sided connection. This is a one-sided relationship. Uh, this person is really going to put in a lot of work and a lot of effort here uh, when it comes to what they're offering you. This person loves to learn. This person, again, it's going to feel like you two are learning a lot about each other, but from each other, uh, discovering new things here. It's very exciting. Yeah, this person has a big heart, very big heart. And this connection is very new, very refreshing. And I feel like it's going to be giving you a lot of emotions that... Um, it's almost like you haven't you haven't had them in a while or they just kind of spark up uh, a lot of things back within you scorpio that fire that desire the beautiful chemistry of that attraction the connection the wanting to be together and it just feeling right fitting right the two of you together yeah it's really beautiful so let's get more about this person okay queen of swords so Let's see, Scorpio. This person could be a Libra, Gemini. I said Aquarius, Aries. We have Gemini again. So yeah, it's a little bit of everything here. Let's see. Let's get more. Ace of Wands. Okay. Yeah, this person loves to do things. This person is always going, always on the move. They're very active, but there's a lot of passion. So be mindful, okay? You will know this person is very passionate. Once you guys get to that point and you cross that threshold, yeah, this is full-blown passion and romance here with this person. It's also very honest. This person is very blunt. They don't hold punches. They're very direct. Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Yeah, this person is all about wanting to be happy, wanting to be comfortable in life. This person works very hard. And we have the Ace of Swords. Very good at communicating. You're going to notice how strong this person is, the things they've been through. I feel like you're going to really enjoy talking to this person about deep things that you've been through, that they've been through. It's only going to bring you two even more together the way it fits. Uh, but this person is a good listener. Yeah, this person is a very good listener. They're very caring, very open, very direct. They give good advice if you need it. If you need help, they're there. They're ready to go. Yeah, this is a well-rounded person. But also that passion is it's standing out a lot here. So it's like this person's just waiting to be able to just give that. And they have so much building up within them that they're just ready to let it out with that person that they know they want to be with. So you two are going to be together. Speaking of that, let's look at you two here. You and this person. There's one. Temperance. A beautiful connection. A wonderful balance. Uh, when it fits, it fits. The way you two connect is going to be beautiful. There's going to be a lot of balance here. A lot of healing as well. It's like you two just make each other feel so good. It's like if you have a bad day, you two are around each other, done, gone, refreshed, clear. <laughs> two of swords. Yeah, I think this is going to take time here. There's a lot of patience here when it comes to when you two are actually going to make it official and decide to go uh, down this journey together. There's going to be a lot of changes here uh, for you. Uh, when you meet this person, they may feel like you have a lot going on at the time, but beautiful beginnings here with all the changes happening. Look at that six of swords. There's more peace. There's more harmony here. Less worry. Peace from worry. Peace from stress. Yeah, it's a really, really nice balance here. It's like you two kind of keep each other grounded. Protected. And just happy. Feeling good. Feeling refreshed. It's a really nice vibe. All right. 
transformation here. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Let's see. Feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you are feeling. A lot of those feelings getting stirred up, sparked back up, new feelings here. There's a lot to, again, explore. It's a new adventure here. A lot of deep emotions for you and this person. Figuring them out together, needing to take time, patience here to decide uh, when you meet this person. Things might get kind of deep here uh, sooner than you expect with this person. Let's see. relationship spend more quality time together if you're single a new relationship could be on the horizon very new a new adventure a lot to explore here with this person Let's see You and this person have spent a lot of time together. There's a transformation here. Shifting out of illusions and lies and chaos and conflict. Into awareness. Rekindle. A lot of feelings here to rekindle. A lot of feelings here to be feeling again. Those sparks. All right, let's see. It's like this connection is just going to bring back some good feelings. Like things you've missed. And also things you've never experienced before. They may be overwhelming the feelings that you have for this person. Okay, let's see. For some of you, it might even be a little scary here and cause a little bit of indecision, uh, but just needing time to think, to sort out, sort through the feelings here. Okay. Ooh, that's the one. Go the distance, not being afraid to go the distance, that threshold, that finish line here. So much possible here for you and this person, especially with the feelings here, the emotions here, your newfound awareness. It is a beautiful balance and there's, it's like it's going to be such a long journey here, but uh definitely fun and exciting and there's again a lot to explore here when you go the distance with this person it doesn't have to be a race let's get more about this person let's get some features here this person may have freckles or blonde hair person could be plus size we have brown hair okay long hair piercings we have leo here Someone outgoing, humorous, faithful, and generous. Someone full of passion. Someone very expressive. 
They can also be stubborn and dramatic at times. Pisces. Someone empathic, intuitive, and artistic. They may seem a little secretive, impressionable. We have masculine energy. All right, Chinese zodiac, the snake here. Someone uh, organized, intelligent, intuitive, attentive, elegant, mysterious, and decisive. All right, let's get more. Distant. Could be at a distance from this person. Coming in with advice and guidance. I'm telling you, this person, they are a wonderful ear to have because they are such a good listener. And they give good advice. Scorpio, someone resourceful, passionate, and determined. All right, this person may at times come off secretive, obsessive. All right, let's do one more. Nearby, someone very close to you. All right. Let's get more here. More about this person coming towards Scorpio. All right, this person is practical, kind, devoted, and compassionate. This person may be interested in movies, crafts, painting, loves to read, nature, agriculture, social services, fun outdoor activities. This person can be impractical, vulnerable, self-critical, at times unrealistic. This person can be calm, nurturing, passionate again, and open-minded. This person loves photography, theater, visual arts, poetry, creative writing, editing. All right. This person could be a manager, some type of leadership position. This person at times may be disorganized. They overthink. They can be overly emotional and they need approval. This person may also be inflexible, judgmental, tactless, and resistant to change. All right, so let's get more here. Let's keep going. Aries. Soulmate coming through. Deep, deep connection, deep attraction to this person. Darker skin. Lighter skin. Brown hair. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Introvert. Pisces, hazel eyes. All right, last one. Let's see. The person coming towards you. All right, slow start, but give it time. Skeptical indecision here. A lot to think about when it comes to these feelings that you and this person start to have for each other. Suit and tie, successful business person, someone well dressed. All right, we have sneakerhead here, someone who does love sports, dresses casual, has a sneaker collection. This will lead to marriage. Solid commitment here. Serious focus here. Unique hairstyles, dreads, twisties, cornrows, and man bun. Distinct facial features, eyes, lips, mole, and freckles. You may notice this about this person. Meeting through friends. Blue, green, or gray eye color. Let's look at the bottom. Okay. 
We have initials here. I, Z, C, Q, N, and L. Okay. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.